Hello everybody, welcome to game number 13 for the High Elves. Uh, up lots of TV versus Pavlaris. I think I've heard of him. Have I heard of him? Yeah, he's probably in the he's probably in the playoffs. Five one zero. He's got an Adj six dancer. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, probably going to lose this one because <laughs> I've only got one tackler and he's got two, and I haven't got any dodge and he's got loads of inducements. So there you go. This could be the first loss for the High Elves. <laughs> Did you try to carry on Acorn Store? I've heard that's not the best strategy. Ah, there you go. Thanks, Timmy. Yeah, maybe, yeah, Dev. That might be what it is. <laughs> Tempted a <to> one turn away. <laughs> it's all worth, always worth trying to be M. Elliot, isn't it? You know? You've got to... You've got to try to... Uh, you know, the the, the chat war. It, funny, in it? Elliot versus Store, it's like... The best chat versus the worst chat. <laughs> yeah. It's brutal. That's brutal, Elliot. You're already letting yourself down there, you know, like that's the thing. He, he's in his element. You're just going straight into his uh <laughs> Did he? Oh wow, that's good. Glad to see Elliot stepping his game up. You two should have been in the in the one world one blood ball, because it's like getting better at blood ball is is the theme. Getting better at BB. PC, no number, Dio, McNaughton. I said, is McNaughton coming on because he wants to learn how to play? Way! <laughs> oh, but he is on as somebody looking to improve. I was, wasn't even... I was just joking. I was just literally joking. Holy shit. I was just joking. I was genuinely just joking there. <laughs> <laughs> and she went zero zero six the TT Tony. Yeah, hello store one oh five. That's what I said, Dimmy. Um, he's apparently some tabletop coach, which is obviously why we didn't know who he was. Um, makes sense, doesn't it? He's got an old number, I see what you've done there. Dimmy the funny guy. Right, so he's got a wizard and Eldrill. And he's got Adj 6. He's got Adj 6. Way. Getting advised by Rick, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. On the thing about improving at Blood Bowl, I feel like they should have just had Dio on. <laughs> just no, no PC. No other two guests. Just have Dio talk for like an hour would be great. No offence to anybody else. <laughs> I think... Uh, well, I'd like to just listen to Dio go on for an hour about things. It would be pretty amazing. <laughs> Fuck off, Demi. <laughs> <laughs> Dio's on it, but I would just have just Dio on. Yeah, that'd be good as well, though, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, no, he's got, he's got some bizarre ideas about HMP. But, you know, just Dio talking about, like, you know, things. Really good. One World, One Blood Bowl, Team and Taylor. Um, Dio, oh, uh, Dio's. PC's chat show kind of thing that he gets people on. I was on the last one, as was Elliot and Rick and Andy Davo. One week, one bodybuilder, yep. Problems with ordering. But there's the playlist of one world one blood bowl. Only <laughs> says every second did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three and a half times a week. <laughs> Wait, no, four times a week. Yeah, every other day, four times a week. You can't have half a podcast. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking elves. Hopefully he gets my dice from last game, in which case he's fucked, isn't he? You would hope. Dio's played Lords this season, the absolute lunatic. Damn right, Muppet. They're fucking disgusting, really, aren't they? No, nobody should be allowed to use elves. <laughs> really, yeah, Dad. <laughs> He's got quite the meat cube going on here, hasn't he? I wish I was the one with the wizard. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, isn't it, Team Antilla? My uh, my team isn't very good. It's not worth it. Well, it's all, I mean, it's alright, it? but it's not worth the TV. Two reserves, which is too many. Injured players that are a bit shit. Liar. <laughs> yeah, if you spell his name wrong, you've, you've never lost to him, do me. <laughs> Oh, 
Look, I've never, I've never lost a space cadet. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> if I follow, if I follow your lead. That never lost the space cadet, Bosh. Fuck off, Jimmy. <laughs> He's going for the score, is he? You may be the Blitz Pit, the Blitz Quiz Champ, Jimmy, but I'm the Blitz Pit Champ. Oh yeah. I was also the real quiz pit champ, by the way. Eternal champ, yeah. Glorious. <laughs> he just makes all the twos. Scores in two turns, and he has got Eldril and a wizard and Ash six. So there you go. I don't know how it's possible to roll that two, that many twos to be honest. I find it difficult to roll roll one, two plus a match. It's so frustrating because I knew this match was a loss. I mean, except he's got the wizard, so I can't carry on to it though. T A Y T O. I told you ain't ever the liar. Instant one, by the way. I'm trying to two one grind him. Oh, 
neither do I. I don't see how I've got any chance because he's got a wizard, an elder, and an edge six dancer. So, hope you rolls a double one, I guess. Is about the limit to my strategy. Good for you, Dimmy. No, I don't mean go fuck yourself. I actually mean good for you. <laughs> My real life friend always, always said GFY on Fumble and then said, which just means good for you, doesn't it? <laughs> This means good for you. He knew it didn't just mean good for you, though. He was naughty. Pitha would. Pitha was a total cunt, by the way. I mean, I'm not saying that my real life friend wasn't a cunt, for the record. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have said that, should I? He uh, wasn't a scene up. Uh, he was a scene up, but you know. When you're friends, it's, uh, it's alright, isn't it? It's just a joke like on Top Gear. I think he left this for me on, on purpose. Pith is a right dick, though, isn't he? Maybe I shouldn't have seen him. It's not true, though, is it, Timmy? Yeah, in China, yeah. Yeah, because China had the whole the yeah, I one baby thing, yeah, exactly. They're fucked. A little bit. Not proper fucked. Oh god, I just can't be bothered with this. Can I just concede? Just fuck off with your fucking not doing anything fucking ever. I don't see how I can possibly make this safe.
I don't know what care to me. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> Okay, that's some good rain. I don't know, but nobody knows. It's that it, it's it's real problem. It's a real problem. I don't know what the answer is because when you're relying on like people volunteering. And doing stuff manually, it's it's probably just too ambitious to be honest. It's probably too ambitious a format to get people to care about. When you can't get the people playing in it. When the people playing in it can't work out what's happening. Who like obviously want to win at least a little bit. There's a problem there, isn't there? Yes, after the group stage. Yeah. I mean, I think all of us think that, Dable. But the problem is, is just working out what the fuck's going on. I don't care enough to try and do that. Because that's really fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> trying to work out what the fuck is happening shouldn't be as hard as it is but then I haven't got an answer for that I haven't got a solution for that because it's just it's just too difficult isn't it to do basically Fucking cunt. Alright, two plus of the reroll. That has to come in at the end then, eh? There's a website, I smell, but it, it's still really hard to tell what's going on, even if you look at that, to be honest. It's not much of a help. BBSL was great, there's the tables there. Though. You could easily see who was top. I mean, it's not going on at the moment, but you can see all the previous seasons as well, how they ended. Oh, I didn't make Rick yellow, he won. He won a season, didn't he? He won the last season. Whereas this, 
it's got pairings and predictions and it's got the info but that info it's just it's not up to date it's not always up to date right because it's done manually in that so it's like it's just fucking rough man I don't know what the answer is I think strip is better than wrestle yes I would have gone strip if I was him But who can say if it was right or wrong? <sighs> yeah, it's pretty confusing and it like it's it's I don't want to say impossible to keep up to date, but it's really hard to keep it up to date because it's just relying on on, you know, manual inputs, which is a fucking terrible thing to rely on, isn't it? I like to blitz him. Yeah, let's just blitz him. Fuck off. I've, it just it, they just mentioned it in the title. I think it's a terrible name, and I think it's really hard. Like again, I don't think it's run badly or anything. I just think it's really hard to present in a reasonable way. Just because you know it has to be collated and and you know everything and done by real people. It's certainly not a criticism of anybody involved in it have to keep reiterating that <laughs> that it's not a criticism of the people involved I just think it's you know almost a bit enough more than is reasonable to chew Yeah, I mean, Cruz is the is the king of CCL. Well, there you go. <laughs> but like, we knew the rules, and it's it was still just too hard to work out what we needed and and everything from the rounds and that, and it was just. Well, I mean, I didn't know there were points. I just didn't know there were points anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there were points. I didn't know Christopher had points and everything. I, I knew none of that. 
Yeah, I think it was. I think it's hard to to get it across because it was complicated. No, I don't know what the points are for. I've got no idea. Is he going in again? I didn't get a proper uh, cage, did I? I didn't make a proper cage, there was no guard there, holy shit. I might have to bang it in now. I might have to bang it in just because uh, he's got fucking Eldrill now, hasn't he? Oh, I've got tackle. I mean, he would have turned off dodge if he had it on option. He's not scoring anyway, even if he uses it. Well, I don't know if there was a next time, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, get into the next time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Dev, yeah. Yeah. Just a farewell to Blood Bowl, not a farewell to Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> managed to stall out the half against Eldril, a wizard, and Edge 6. Good. That's pretty good, isn't it? 10 out of 10, Jim. <laughs> yeah, Edge 6 wizard and Eldril and a wizard. How overpowered do you want to be? I'm not going to do that stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> wow.
nice three dice these guys. Oh, I can't hex a skull. It's not possible. It just isn't possible to hex a skull. It just isn't possible. I could do a Hancock and assist with a ball carrier, I guess, but... Thanks, Timmy. I was pretty happy with it. We even get a little bit of BM as we dance around... The War Dancer. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Only I could tutty foul. <laughs> it could it could learn a lot, yes, Gary. It could learn BB3 could learn a lot from Blood Bowl 2, but un unfortunately, they decided to throw everything out. No, but it's better. It's better than it's better than Blood Bowl 3. That's the sad thing, right? That's the that's the ho horrible thing. The horrible thing is, all the things we complain in in Blood Bowl 2, Blood Bowl 3 is just fucking worse, somehow. Like, it's ridiculous. No, it doesn't make it as good. It's still... Did anyone say it was good? Yeah, good. Being able to get good auto pathing is possible in Blood Bowl 2. It is possible to get good pathing in Blood Bowl 2. It is just impossible to get good pathing in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible armor breaks again. Loving it. Devastating. Fuck me. Twenty one hundred, I thought it was nine. Mr. Taylor, I wish you could rename. Like the renaming feature in Blood Bowl 3 is great, isn't it? Like there are some good things about it. It's just unfortunately it's in a cesspool of shit. And like this the the, the, the the models are good and the stadiums are good. And like sure we don't care. But like advertising the game cares, doesn't it? And, like, you do care anyway on some level, right? If you were to look around here and it just looked absolute turd, it would be worse. Like, it is better that there's a stadium there and you can see it, isn't it? Like, it is better. It doesn't have... I know art rips the piss about it being copy-paste and everything, but it's fine. Like, it does the job, doesn't it? It's good that you can see something there. It is. It is. It is better than Blood Bowl 3 where you had, like, the just field stadium. Yeah, I know it, but selling a game... It's good to have. It's definitely good to have it when you're selling a game. For sure.
Timmy's chalice title not found. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> But it's weird, isn't it? Because no one can say to the guy who made the stadium, you did a bad job, or the guy who made the models, you did a bad job. They do look great in isolation. And the pitch, probably. If you if you change the like the colours so they weren't fucking luminous. Poor Timmy. Yeah, indeed, it uh... Oh, an armor break. Brings in two guys to hit, but like that's okay. If he wants to put two guys over there to hit, that's acceptable. No, I don't care about it, but making a game you've got to, haven't you? You can't you can't just make the game and not care about the crowd. Like you just can't. Yeah, but everyone does that, Trudeau Taurus. You you can't bang on them for that because fucking Madden, literally, like I don't know what it is exactly, but something like in Madden twenty one they had Madden seventeen signs in the crowd. Do you know what I mean? So like you can't you can't blame them for that. It lo it looks fine. And they've got to make it look fine to sell the game, really, like. Not to the diehards, but to, like, casual people, for sure. And, like, you know, websites or whatever. Yeah. No Grammaton, only, only Mondays and Friday. Well, only Mondays nowadays. Only Mondays nowadays for JFW. Um, it used to be Mondays and Fridays and sometimes Wednesdays. But now it's just Mondays. I'd like it to be Fridays again. I'd like it to be Mondays and Fridays again. The problem is just getting people to, to do anything on a Friday. Um, like, you know, it's hard. It's hard because Fimea did do Fridays. And Rick did Mondays, but then Fimey is now cannot do it anymore. So, it, you know, like it's it's hard because you really want somebody to commit and be able to do it. Especially somebody, I want somebody like you know better than me as well. <laughs> because Rick's better than me, and Skuro's better than me, <laughs> and Fimey is better than me. So, um, I could do it myself, but it, it's a lot more boring by yourself, and it's obviously worse by myself. God damn it. You could try, Steve. Hey, 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 h
Is this all right? And then blitz him. And then, then I can push him away as well, which is pretty good. How good is it though? I can just do it by putting somebody there. I could push him away and then free him up. <laughs> you motherfucker. I don't think I can do it without a pal then. I shouldn't re roll that, but I did want to get something going. But I mean, looking at it, did it really matter? I don't know. The double, the double down is pretty shit. Oh god, yeah, Steve McCrown would be amazing. Calm down, calm down. Hey, how are we talking? Calm down, like that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, McLaren would be amazing, yeah. That would get really that would get really boring though trying to do that. So I could try and do like a guest one. And then me do it by myself if necessary. Could work. Like that's what we'd try doing for a few weeks. And then eventually there were too many times where I just didn't want to do it on my own. Yeah, this is shit because I exposed the tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Stop, yeah. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Fucking four dice can't knock him over. A 1D power. Disgusterous. He's Tito! Mr. Tito! T A Y T O. Oh, look at all this beautiful space. Whoa. Problem is just these guys being a bit slow. Does need a GFI. Have to do the GFIs. Have to. Ha! 
I think I do have to, just because he's got edge six and everything. Yeah, so it had to be a one, didn't it? Okay, not a double one. Unbelievably. This makes them roll double ones. Like, not double ones, but you know what I mean? Like a one in 36 chance. Guys, doesn't it? Screens, screens, tags do does something. Oh, that moves a bit shit. But what else could I do, really? <laughs> I could look at this beautiful space for twenty-four hours. He's bolted. Would have liked him to have rolled a one. Because <laughs> he's got edge six. And I can't stop him at all. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Fucking two plus pickup. He doesn't even need a leap. He just two plus dodges in. Come on, double one. Would have been deserved. Now oh, well. GG. It was pretty good as well, wasn't there? There was like a, there was screens, there was there was guard there, there was just like everything there, and it's uh, right in Arian. You're luckier in Arian, otherwise you've been banned. Have you seen me roll dice ever? You complete fucking idiot. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no fucking way on earth that I can go for a shootout in Arian. <laughs> There is no fucking way. <laughs> you would, yeah. Rick would, yeah. Chunter would, yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, it helps for him making this a 2 plus dodge. And this a 2 plus pickup. It helps on passing as well, though it shouldn't. Ban him anyway. I mean, obviously making it a shootout is the obvious way to neutralise the wizard. But I just think, seeing as I can't stop him at all, it just comes down to dice, and he's got more dodge, and he's got edge six, so like, there's no real way I can stop him whatsoever. So, you know, he had, he had to roll a lot of dodges there. And he could have rolled a double one in that sequence, and if he does, then I win, don't I? So... I, just, I didn't feel like I could win the shoot. <sighs> ah, maybe I should have kept like the guy back as a safety or something. But I just thought, fuck it. You know, if, he, if he fails 1-1 one, one in 36. I'll just end turn, I think. No, I'm not going to end turn, am I? I'm not going to end turn. I'm going to be completely reasonable here. Still roll a double skull.
Please be dead. Ugh, fucking badly hurt. What a joke. What a fucking joke. I was pretty much always losing this, though, I think. Like... Like, if I'd actually removed some people, I think I could have won. But, got outbashed essentially, because this only came after it, after it didn't matter. 13 players. Maybe this should have been fouling earlier, but it's hard because you've got to defend the ball, haven't you? Like, it was really stupid. The, the, the 13 players was terrible this game. Absolutely fucking terrible. Like, that probably lost us the game, right? Having two reserves. Give me a wizard. The two reserves either gave him Wizard or Eldril. So. The two reserves lost it there. Or maybe got us the matchup in the first place, which lost it. I can't even be bothered to click anymore. God, I hate losing. <laughs> but it's fair enough, isn't it? This was almost an unwinnable matchup. Had to, had to get, like, had to hope him for him to get some bad dice. I mean, if I make it a shootout, I'm just relying on him getting some bad dice. Like, isn't it? So, like, you either rely on getting better dice in the shootout. Or you rely on, he goes for his shot and fails. And then you might even be able to punish him like by serving his dancer or whatever. Or his dancer like could cas himself going for it, things like that. So, it's not as if going for a shot is just better. Like, I, I would go for a shot if I'd had like, you know, a sure hands guy or whatever. Something with a bit of rerolls to make a bit more consistent. Without anything to make my side of the shootout more consistent, it's not very good. It is, yeah, it uh, and like, he's, plus he's got edge six, so I just can't defend against him whatsoever. So it was always going to be really hard, and obviously it's easy to say after losing the wizard. Oh, I should have made it as a shootout, but it would have been easy to have just got smashed in the shooter anyway by rolling a crucial like I've got hardly any dodge three dodge or four, four dodge and he had like I probably, probably he didn't have that much more he probably only had five or six but still he had more dodge and he had edge six he did have edge six which is uh, a bit of a big deal so yeah maybe, maybe it's time to get rid of the reserves because that the reserves maybe fucked us that game. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, he, yeah, he could fail the whiz, right? He could have just failed the whiz, and also he could have failed the dodges or the pickup, or like things like that, right? The, the the turn that he goes in, he could have failed, and like he did, didn't he? He did fail with that with that dancer, so could have surfed that dancer. Like if that had been the edge six dancer that had gone in, and he'd failed, and could have surfed his edge six dancer there potentially and stuff. So like, we had an upside if he failed for him going for the ball side. Like it's you know there's pros and cons, isn't there? Yeah, that's a good point here, Dev. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Yeah, trying to do, trying to have it, trying to get in a shootout versus Eldrill isn't so smart, is it? Yeah, that's a good point. But anyway, I mean, you, you can't win them all, can you? And he's a good coach, and that was really hard to, to beat at six Eldrill and a wizard. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.